A crowd gathered around a crane in downtown Portland today, waiting to see if crews will lift another toppled statue, this one of Theodore Roosevelt. Down the street, crowds also tore down one of Abraham Lincoln. Video shows some of police estimate 300 plus smashing windows at the Oregon Historical Society. Part of a march through the city Sunday night called the Day of Rage, a demonstration that supposedly was aimed at supporting indigenous people oppressed for centuries. Museum directors say people threw flares inside. Thankfully, they burned themselves out. But the carpeting is scorched. The crowd also stole a quilt from the lobby made by black women for the bicentennial. It's back, wet, bleeding, and torn. The people who did this don't understand how we have worked to tell the true story of Oregon, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I fired two rounds, uh, one through this window, one through this window. Blocks away, the owner of Heroes American Cafe says bullets, and he thinks a baseball bat, came through his window. John Jackson is himself a veteran. His restaurant pays tribute to first responders, and he thinks protesters, angry at police, took notice. Whoever they were, they were, they were definitely agitators because um, their peaceful protests would not have taken uh, the turn that we've taken last night. There's, there's no reason to damage property. The damage and the chaos Sunday night blasted by local officials this morning, including State Representative Tana Sanchez. We as Indigenous people stand with the Black Lives Matter movement, and that's what this moment is about. The fact that someone would hijack Indigenous People's Day to cause more violence is not appropriate. Here's Portland's yeah. mayor, Ted Wheeler. I know that last night, after people engaged in their acts of criminal destruction and violence, they were bragging about it on social media. They are not engaged in any activity that has any relationship whatsoever to racial justice or equity. They are purely engaged in violence and criminal destruction for the sake of violence and criminal destruction. The chief of police said a total of three people were arrested Sunday night. They're still investigating a lot of what happened. But that in and of itself is a topic of discussion on social media as well. Critics pointing out police arrested close to 30 people at a protest Saturday night. Police saying in a press release they moved in preemptively because they'd gotten tips things were going to get violent. Now, there was another demonstration on Sunday of, quote, militia members, a.k.a. armed men marching through Portland with semi-automatic rifles and, according to videos on social media, confronting people in downtown. Police in that case didn't arrest anyone. Now, the chief said that Portland police handled each demonstration as they did based on a number of factors, including safety and available resources. The mayor now is calling on everyone in the community to denounce violence. Meanwhile, cleanup continues today. Museum directors say repairs will cost upwards of $25,000. That said, there are a few bright spots. Restoration has started on that quilt, and staff are hopeful. There was also this note left by a homeless man named Oscar. He wrote he had seen the damage and donated what he could to help. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.